Hi guys, I am coming to you from my own home on this YouTube video and it's going to be a different vibe. It's all going to be about what you can do to keep yourself sane during this Christmas rush um, and how to make things a little bit easier on yourself. Now I know this is the craziest time of year and you're probably booked out solid but if you've got a minute I'm going to give you some hints, tips and tricks to stop yourself from burning out and to make yourself feel just a little bit better this Christmas. I also reached out to other groomers on social media to see what they do, um, so watch out for some mentions. So my biggest first tip has to be setting boundaries when it comes to the Christmas period. If you are full, you are full. And if somebody is asking you, can they you fit their dog in, it's a no. Do not overcook yourself, just set yourself some boundaries. Tips tip for next year is to plan out what time you have, plan out um, exactly how many spaces you actually have and stick to that. Adding in those few extras aren't worth it and you will burn yourself out. So be sure to set your boundaries. So in the next couple of weeks, if someone brings you up and says their dog is desperate, make them wait till January. You're fine. They haven't booked by now. It's their own fault. Pre-booking for Christmas is essential and everybody knows that. My second tip this year is to make sure you take at least 15 minutes in the your day just to relax, have a coffee, eat some lunch. Um, you may have not bought yourself some lunches out, but if you just take 15 minutes, honestly, just push all your appointments 15, back 15 minutes, it's worth it. Your customers probably aren't going to be bothered and it will just allow you to recharge and refuel up. Make sure you're eating properly. Tr coffee and a packet of digestive biscuits or a Red Bull is not a sufficient lunch. Make sure you have a sandwich or some soup or anything just to refuel you and get you through these, these days. Number three, if you end up getting ill during the next couple of weeks, cancel your appointments and just move them. Your health comes first and there ain't no a groom that is that important that it needs doing. Make sure you put yourself first during this Christmas period. Number four, we're gonna keep get a little bit more positive now. I highly recommend getting a candle for your salon. Um, I currently have a gingerbread one on um, and it just is a nice little pleasant treat that I have in my salon during the Christmas period. It makes the salon smell so nice, um, especially when anyone does any cheeky poops or anything like that. Um, and it makes me feel so much more relaxed. So uh, let's go into the suggestions from some other groomers. Um, Pammy said that she recommends having a thermal flask. So if you make yourself a coffee or a cup of soup and you're having your salad, it's not gonna get hair in it. But if you forget about it or you get tied up in work, um, you can forget about it and come back to it later, it's still going to be hot. So whenever you're ready for it, it's going to be there, it's going to be ready. And that is a fantastic tip. Polly from Tail and Chase said that you should make sure you have a bottle of wine on standby. And there's nothing wrong with having something that you can treat yourself with after a really busy day, whether it be that bottle of wine or whether it be a chocolate bar or you take your favourite takeaway on standby. Make sure you are giving yourself some treats during this time because you're working hard. Now I'm gonna address what Berea from Raina's Grooming over in Ohio said. She said, set up a mat an air mattress and work on through. Now that is a big fat no, do not do that. You need to give yourself a break, you need to go home, you need to relax, take that bath, have a cup of tea, have a glass of wine and take a break because otherwise you're just going to burn out um, <laughs> I love the sentiment get that money do well you know business is great this time of year but there really has to be boundaries today is a Friday and I would normally be at work but I have decided to give myself an extra day off to do some Christmas wrapping get my hair done um, and it is well worth doing if you're organizing for next year Give yourself some time off. This is one of the best times of year for Christmas markets and you deserve to go um, and you deserve to be able to get yourself organised and enjoy it as well. Don't forget to breathe and don't forget to enjoy Christmas this year. 
those are my hints, tips and tricks to you guys to keep stay sane this year. I'm going to try my very hardest um, to keep those boundaries up and to enjoy it <laughs> as much as I possibly can. I'm sure I'm going to have my off days uh, and I'm sure the Christmas rush is going to be mad. But um, I wish you all a very Merry Christmas um, and enjoy yourselves. <laughs>